time to do. Let's see. yesterday about uh, what happened at WBAI well, last it's, it's someplace uh, talk about BAI and I'm talk a little bit more about BAI that time when uh, when they got a hire they hired a minority and a minority was a gay white man to be program director he had no experience in radio but they made him program director they meaning the white guy John Simon who who, who had just become um, a station manager you know very interesting in fact, let's talk about Simon but here I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna show you what let me talk about Simon for just a second before I talk about normal radio. Um, there's this thing uh, when you're initiated into a, uh, it's like an initiation you got to go through. Like in, uh, I do audio drama, so in audio drama, the, fir the first black uh, acknowledged, I guess unionized, he got it was in the union, um, black guy was this guy named Orval, Orval White, I remember his last name because he's white, you know? Orval White. And uh, the prank that they played on him when he had his first live, it was a real live thing, a big thing, he had to shoot a, a gun, you know, a gun, um, you know, a gunshot off camera because he had these big tables with all the sound effects and he's one of them working the table and they made it so the gun wouldn't fire so he had to improvise i don't remember what he did but he did something and he got through it or whatever happened so you know you always you go through initiations you know that you know, it's gonna be a real professional well at bai this, this, all through the 80s i had done a lot of engineering helping a lot of people the training people and stuff like that and I, I never, uh, never got a pro. I never really wanted to be on the air. I seen not want to be on, but I would do specials, and and I was helping Bernard, Bernard White doing um, and doing emanations, you know. So that was enough for me. You know, and another time on emanations, great program. So anyway, uh, I had done a lot of engineering. I would you know come in for ships and help out whatever have you. And one time we had this thing called a uh, report to the listener with a program director and not uh, really program director. It was program director sometimes, but usually it's the station manager and then the whole crew, all the you know the, the program director, the arts director, or whatever, the news director. Everybody would come and they answer questions from the listeners. You know, okay, great. So um, I came in there one one day. I think it was a Tuesday, whenever it was, and it was an evening. And uh, they said, I think we have nobody to engineer this program. The engineers came to me. They nobody to engineer this uh, John Simon left this, uh, you know, this this tape. It's because our tape of, of a report to listeners is not going to be live. Just, you know, put it on there and blah, blah, blah. I said, okay. Now, let me tell you something. Any good engineer, when you put on a tape, you're going to at least start it and, and you know, hear, you know, hear. It, think things are all right, right? Well, it was like the last minute, so I just put it up, you know, and uh, I just had enough time to get the station ID, WPI in New York, whatever it is. And I said, we have a report to listeners on tape this time. This, um, we're going to do it. And I had just reeled it up, and I was about to, to test it. So I tested it. There was nothing on it. And I'm going like, oh, well, maybe something happened. So I, said, I get on the air and say, oh, sorry, we, 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 the, the tape is like, and they gave me the tape. The tape is empty, blah, 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 whatever it is. So, uh, you know, we have a whole hour here together. So since, the, you know, since the program director, you know, the, the station manager can't get report to listen, there's no staff around. You know, you know, they had their little staff. There's no staff around. So let's, uh, I'll tell you what, how about report to, listeners report to yourselves. So I became the engineer that let the listeners call in and ask a question to another listener, and they would just, the listeners would talk to each other. I wouldn't interject anything. Well, after about like two minutes of that, I get a call on the hotline, as they call a hotline. And I pick it up, main control room. <laughs> oh, John, hey, you're not here for the port today? said, no, I was I said, well, look, hold on a second. And I got on, I immediately opened the mic. And I said, 
Oh, John, well, John's not on tape, but he's here live on the line. Let me let, let him call you back, and maybe he can do do the telephone report to listen or whatever. And I said, John, John, John. I said, Oh, he hung up. Oh well, you keep on reporting to each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's radio. It's live radio. It's no. We have a thing. No dead air. You know. Anyway, so of course that just hit. Blew up, you know. The listeners loved it, you know. It just everybody. The engineers had a big hoop because they thought they put something over it or me or whatever. And nobody liked John Simon. And so, and so I think it was the next day. Okay, let me give you this little little back thing. Uh, community radio. So you should have your own gear. Anyway, I I, I had just bought not just but I had I had bought months a little bit months earlier. A um a, it was called Iowa a, a little tape recorder, you know, like that. But it had a remote. A little remote thing, it's like a tie clip remote thing, so you can start start the remote. You know, you put the thing over there, and you can tether it with a live a wire, but you can still, you know, start it and stop it there, and record like that. So I knew that something was going to happen the next day. So I had my little Iowa recorder in my pocket, you know, I had my little, you know, in my, you know, the remote like that. So John was kind of, I was sitting, I was actually sitting in the lobby of five or five, just, you know, in the reception area, and comes John. All huffy and puffy. Now, I want to see you. I said, okay, sure. So I come there. I click my little thing on, and he says, well, "You cannot." Blah 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 blah. I said, "Look, you you could have just you know called back on a regular line, and we'd have had you up and brought to listener, brought to listener, brought to listener. Blah blah blah." He went back and forth. And now without, it was really just me and him in the room. But I'm recording him. He doesn't know it. Okay, so that ends. Then immediately they put out. We I, I call it the Sloan memo. This memo saying that no one is authorized to have a report to listen, but the management. Blah 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 blah. blah. So that was the memo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I say all that just to say that's the kind of guy I am. Huh? Now remember, I had not. I'm not on the air. I have no program on the air. I just help engineer, I help training, I help a bunch of other things. So there's nothing they can do with me because the ultimate thing with community radio is you, you have to have your program on the air. But I don't know. But on his staff, you know, they also hired. So Skagliati, this is interesting. Skagliati was the uh, pro pro um, program director. The news department, I think, it was just very regular. Uh, I think um, Jose was there by then. I, I forget, but you know, uh, I think Jose was there by then. Uh, running the news department, um, uh, public affairs. I don't know if Mario had come in yet. I don't know who is public affairs, whatever it is. I think it's way before them. That's right, it's way before them. Um, uh, but they they had put uh, this uh, woman Giselle, Giselle Mills. She um, and she was she instead of they, they, she was a lesbian. And it's part of the, of the arts the the head of the arts department. Arts department is my department. I do you know, audio drama. I have been doing audio drama. And that's it. So what happened was Scagliati went on vacation or something like that. So Giselle, you know, because there was a, something happening, it was an opening. So Giselle put me on the air. <laughs> oh Lord, kind of interesting. So I had my program, No More Radio, right away. See, No More Radio. That's that's my program. I still go by that, No More Radio. I do. This is a No More Radio production. You just don't know it. It's always there. It says it right there. The number radio started. I had to, there was this exhibit on Marcus Garvey at uh, Schomburg Library, so I did a whole thing on uh, two hours or whatever on Marcus Garvey, and that's really the official start of Number Radio. But then it's more of a cultural program, and you know, there's a lot of things. We did poetry, we did a lot of stuff on Number Radio. Great program. Okay, so I give you all to say this. This is the thing. My experience is that, I mean, especially at this time, this day and time when we're dealing with um, ADOS and all kinds of things, the thing. I think it's important. As far as I'm, this is our movement, you know, American descendants of chattel slavery. This is our movement, okay? Which means we're ahead of it. It's like, okay, remember when, when SNCC started? Remember SNCC started the way SNCC started, like all these groups started, you know, with like oh, white and black people come together and help this, da 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 da. But at some particular point, I think it was either under, under Stokely Carmichael or H.R. Brown was the next one, or under one of those two, they basically they said the, the white people, you got to. You know, you can't hold positions. You know, you got to go. 
And why did they do that? Because inevitably, when a white person got into into an organization, especially a black organization, because they had they had more knowledge of certain things, say they became this, this, this well, this famous this secretary. You know, that's what men and them people, you know, rather Stalin them. They sort out secretaries. A bunch of people sort out secretaries, knowing that to lay it a man. But also treasurer, whatever have you. So they would have those positions, and so they, you know, so your company, your your organization would be black, but you know, it'd be run by the key position would be run by white people. You know, because remember, president, whatever, this is ceremonial. Like, this is ceremonial. Your real workers are right under that thing. The real, real workers that are doing stuff. Okay. So my advice at this particular point, uh, advice that I follow for years, is we really going to have something important in this day and age, in this society? Can't be led by white men. White men have got to go. No, stay, leave them out. If you, white men are the the bane of the first <laughs> existence, okay? You all right, darling? Uh-oh. Okay, you're getting better. So that's the thing, you know. We do, do not, and and, 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 I'll, and, I, and let me just put it this way. I would say, uh, and white women are no better. They're, they're even actually worse, but we won't get into that right now. But I would say this. ADOS is, is very interesting because since we named ourselves, that means that you can, we're almost, we're, like I said, we're, we're, we're bulletproof. You can't sneak a white man in here. You can't sneak a, a, a non-ADOS person in here because even some ADOS are basically has, you know, phenom, you know, uh, black skin, white mass or whatever. They want to say ch chocolate covered white people, whatever it is. You know, you, those people that, that come in and they, they, they take on all the affectations of uh, of, of, of white male leader, what they think is the alpha male or whatever they think that is. But those people, you can spot them. Got to go. You know, this movement, we got principles, we got, we got, you know, website, we got, you know, we got a bunch of things. And this is what we need to follow. We need to follow a clear path that's laid out by the black people that are laying this out. Not the, not the, not the people who had other movements that were, that were infiltrated anyway. You know what I mean? Those people, many had your chance. You know, you, you were the, you were the tip of the spear at that particular point, but your spear didn't penetrate. It didn't do anything. Okay, what it did was it was a blunted spear. The ADOS, it's a, it's a, it's an arrow. It's a, it's 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 a, it is a force. You know, and I'm waiting for all these folks, especially all these. And since it's starting this presidential election season, it's such a long season. It's going to be super interesting what happens. So, all these white people think they're leading movements, and they're going to lead uh, black people or whoever into the into the whatever promised land. We're going to save the planet. They are not saving nothing. They they, they are destructive. They don't say they, they white man speaking for every every time you hear a a, a a a white man I'm saying white man a white man a Republican whoever have you say something you can bet whatever they're saying is the exact opposite they accuse you of being the devil they are the devil you see what I'm saying I'm gonna go to uh, Nation of Islam route but you know they they accuse you of being you know disingenuous they're lying you know what I'm saying whatever it is when they when they say point to you and say you are something you can best if it comes out of the forked tongue. <laughs> As, as Red Cloud would say, if it comes out of fork your tongue, it's fork your tongue. Okay, so don't listen to them. Do not follow them. They, they, they may do some, even that data sometimes is off. You know what I mean? Just, we know what we have to do. We have enough people where it's a perfect storm. Everybody has to rise up. Now, if you really, if you're a white ally or if you're somebody else, you need to jump up and do, your, and, 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 and as long as not, again, well, you can coach, you can, like I said, hey, oh, that's, ADOS is bulletproof, so you're not going to go against us. But whatever you need to do, you need to ex execute it now. You know, you need to execute it now. If you're if you're a legislator, whatever you are, you need to now activate now. You see what's happening with, say, with the Democratic Party. That even uh, with Nancy Pelosi, you know, and, and, and Chuck Schumer, them, they're, they're they're sniping the the, the Muslim rep representative. They're 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 making so progressives can't get the, can't uh, uh, have support for for their can't. They're doing everything. That's the white man mentality. Nancy Pelosi is a white man. Think of that, okay? <laughs> Chuck Schumer is a white man. Forget that Jewish person. He's a white man, okay? These are white men. Even the Jewish people that do what they they come from, they are not the real Jewish people. They're the, they're the ones that, 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 because they didn't want to be killed by the, whatever, the Inquisition, whatever, have they changed over to Jewish and whatever. No, they're the white, the people that started Zionism, white men, okay? 
That's what they do. They destroy. That's what they do. It is not our, 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 it is not our job to destroy, to help them to destroy. It is our job to be the tip of the spear. We are the tip of the spear right now, and we must be it. And I'm really talking, and I don't know what's happening with black women. I, it doesn't concern me. Black women, got they deal with your Kamalas, and over, you, all, you all deal with that. Deal, deal, deal with what you have to deal with. But you need, to, the warriors are going to be the warriors. And you know what happens with black women. You know, you know. You cannot tell a black man what to do. Forget it. Even if you raise that black man, you cannot tell a black man what to do. Especially if a black man is a warrior, ain't gonna happen. Just know that. Little note from me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. From a desk of the ADOS, American, North American, descendants of chattel slavery coming to get our due come in to change this system to, to a system of humanity. That's what it is. Yo, baby, could you just turn that off? Because I'm upset. I can't even get up. You know,